Hello friends, in this lecture we will continue with assembly connections. We will know about ball connection and bearing connection. So first of all we will start with ball connection. So I go to assemble. In your project files you need to go to this connection ball. So first of all let me insert this that is ball.asm. Open this file and then we need to fix this. So let's fix this and click OK. So in ball connection, we can assign 3 degree of freedom with respect to 3 rotations. So rotation can be with respect to x axis, y axis and z axis. There will be rotation in 3 axis but there will be no translation. So that is why it is called ball connection. So once again insert the part, assemble and this time I will select lever, open this file. So we need to fix this lever into this hole. So for this, in the type of connection I will select ball. In the placement tab, in the component side, so, for, so to create the ball connection, we need two reference datum points. So we have already created datum points onto this part. You can also create custom datum planes. So you can create custom datum points. I zoom in. Onto this part, we have a point at the center. Click on this point and for the assembly go to this hole and then select this point. Click on this point and now we can see the lever is fixed. Constraint type is coincident and click OK. And then go to drag component. Pick this component and we can see we can rotate it. So we can rotate it with respect to x axis, y axis and z axis but we cannot move this. So there is no translation. So that is the advantage of ball connection. And after that we will learn about bearing connection. In bearing connection, so bearing connection is a combination of ball connection and sliding connection. So I go to assemble option, go to assemble. In your project file go to connection bearing. So I click on this assemble and then we need to select this part that is bearing 1. Select this part and click open. And we need to fix this part. So let's fix this and click OK. And then go to assemble once again, assemble. Select this part that is bearing 2 and click open. So bearing 2 part is basically a ball. And we want to move this ball inside this slot cut. So for this I go to bearing connection. In the placement type, go to placement. And first of all we need to select a point on the component item. So on the component item, I am selecting the center as a point. So select it center. Now its point is selected. And now the point is selected. Click on this assembly. In this assembly, we need to select the axis of this cut. So this is the cut of this axis. Click on this axis. And now we can see the ball is aligned with respect to this axis. We need to insert one more constraint that is translation. So click on this translation. In this translation we just have to select the references. So for the reference what we can do is once again click on this placement to hide this. Go to this setting option in the model tree. Click on this settings and go to tree filter. In the tree filter click on this features and click OK. With this features option it will open the model tree as a part tree. So we will know all the commands that are used to create the part. Like in case of bearing we have used all these commands. So for the placement we need to select ASM right, right plane. Click on the right plane as a reference. Once again go to placement. Current position let us say 0. And click OK. Go to drag component. Pick this ball. And then drag it. Now we can see this ball is dragging inside this slot cut. So now we have to provide proper limit to this. Click OK, close. Go to this bearing part 2, edit definition. Go to placement, translation, minimum limit and maximum limit. So minimum limit let's say I am inserting 0. And the maximum limit will be, for the maximum limit we can go to this analysis tab. Go to measure and click on distance. So we need to calculate distance between two edges. This edge 
hold down the control key and this edge so this complete length is 200 so once again i go to component placement click on this resume option and go to placement translation maximum limit will be 200 insert 200 and click ok now go to drag component pick this ball and drag it now this ball is dragging inside this slot cut so in this way we can apply the bearing connection